Ah, there you are, Yo-Yo. She grabs my test, looks at me, and I know she that knows. she knows. She then says, sit down. We need to talk. Say you swear to God. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Two Are You Rolling? Hey, hold on, man. Hey, listen. I know I haven't did one of these animation reactions in a minute, bro. Last video I did, it was him... I caught my friend being his meat or something like that. That video went crazy. We got over like one point show on K view. That video did pretty good about OJ showing my show. It's most likely in the description. You should go check it out. It was a funny reaction. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is part two. To it, it'll be best if you go watch it. But if not, I mean I got you. Basically some stuff happened, you know what I'm saying, with the test. He was being lazy and he broke into his school to go get his test scores or to cheat or something like that. So now he's in the school and I think the door's opening or something like that. He left us on a cliff a cliffhanger, but we finna see it. Let's just watch the video. This is a part two video to my breaking into yeah. school at night for test answers yeah. video. Okay. So if you haven't watched part one, I strongly suggest that you do yeah. that so you can get a better understanding of this video. No but doubt. if not, here's a clip from part one. Dang. The light in the room turns on. I feel the coldest chill down my spot. Oh what? That didn't make sense, and you don't get the plot of the first video? Yeah. Then click the eye and watch the... <laughs> <laughs> the noise gets louder, louder, Bruh. and louder. The locked door unlocks, the door swings <laughs> open, and then I'm greeted by the last person I expected to see. Not a random teacher, not Mrs. B, not okay. the principal, okay. but a janitor. Oh. Who wears high heels for some reason that... Doesn't seem very practical. Yeah, she yeah. looks at me and says, Hey, hey, you are not supposed to be here. This door was closed, and I'm sure your principal would not like this. Mm -mm -mm. What is your name? And for goodness sake, what is in your hand? Hand. Ooh. I look down and realize when I panicked earlier, I just ran to the door without putting the test that I stole. Yo. Back where it was supposed to go. You I tripping, janitor, bro? But instead of showing the immense level of dread and fear in my soul, I tell her, "Who's stealing test answers? What? Uh, I'm actually in that um, after-school social studies class over there, and I um, realized that um, I left my homework and was just like uh, getting it." <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, go on in. She signals me out, and I leave. While still holding on to the test Yo, because I, no, I had that's... to. I told the janitor that it was my homework. What was I gonna oh, do? You tripping, bro. Put it back with her still there so I take it and hide out in the bathroom and wait for the janitor to leave. Because there is no way that I'm stealing this test from a classroom. Bruh, you done stole a test. You got yourself in a, a you built the bed you gotta sleep in, bro. Come on, man. And taking it home. That is a whole new level of trouble that what? I don't even want to kind of deal with. So I waited. Waited and waited. This How long was school open, bro? Shooting for employee of the month because she was going to town and she was cleaning that room forever. <laughs> I waited so long that my social studies class actually ended. So I'm peeking out of the bathroom, seeing everyone leave the school. The hallway lights turn off, and I'm just like, Did she run out of Fabuloso? Like, what is <laughs> taking her so long? About 15 more minutes pass, and finally. She finishes and I Damn, bro, like, would have had to turn off and on again. I put the test back and dip. Hey, it's me, your skin. Help me maintain my moisture balance while exfoliating with CeraVe Renewing Essence. I heard Barbie Smarter came home. This is bro. how fast YouTube is with Brave. Notice how there's no Bobby. ads. And here's how. I go home, drop my book bag at my bed, and think, I just snuck into a classroom after school hours, stole yeah. a test, got caught, lied my way out of it. And came out untouched. I'm really about this life, yo. I need a yeah. drop tatted on my face like right now. I take all the answers from my phone and write them on a small cheat sheet and spend the rest of the night working on an animation. I for real have the answers, yo. What did I need to study for? I go to sleep, wake up the next day, and I genuinely feel hyped to take this test. I for real have the answers, yo. So I sit in my desk with the utmost confidence. The packet gets handed to me. I open the test, pick up my pencil, and put that hole right back down. Because I did not know not one thing on the test. But yo yo, what's the problem? You for real have the answers. For real have the answers to the wrong version of the test. The Bruh. test that I stole was an A test, and I'm taking Bruh. a B test. A I forgot they do that. Like if you sit to, if you sit into a table and it's two of y'all, they give everybody different tests. So like for instance, four people. The first one get A, second one get B, A B. You get it? So oh yeah. You down bad, bro. You down bad, bro. It was dark and I was anxious when I broke in. I was too goofy 
to notice the difference between the tests, and now I just did all of this for nothing. And I'm screwed because Mrs. B is one of those teachers who make two completely different versions of the tests. Oh, yeah, she evil, bro. Completely useless. Why? Does she have this much time on her hands? But I can't panic because once again, if I fail this test, I am not graduating. So I think of my options, I come up with a final plan. It's a risky one, but I'm desperate. It's all or For nothing. Y'all. Yeah. Okay, Mrs. B. Bro. You so got call acting, bro? Look like I at least kind of attempt the test. So I fill in answers. I start to write random numbers and equations on the paper. All over my scratch sheets and the show work boxes, everything. The bell rings and I walk up to Miss B and tell her that I have two more problems and I ask if I can show up to school the next morning and get it done. Mrs. B, if you're watching this, you are the goat, man. She says yes. Oh, wow. I leave and I head to my after school U.S. history class. Un bro, what you could have just did, bro, instead of doing all of this... Will I get in trouble for doing this? Hey, if you still in school, you didn't hear this from me. Go on your phone right now and download an app called Socratic. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is take a picture of the answers and most like 95% chance is gonna be there. Sometimes it's not gonna say it exactly, but it will take you to a site that actually, you know what I'm saying, has the answer. Again. The app is called Socratic. I'm pretty sure everybody know. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure everybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know about that, bro. You probably not even in school. You a grown ass man. So why are you watching me? You're weak. Unbeknown to her, I actually wrote down the test questions on a piece of paper. I then take this paper to the library, type them up, print them out, and take said paper to my after school class because the U.S. history teacher is also an ex calculus teacher. Honestly, they should have passed me on my problem solving <laughs> skills alone. I tell my US history teacher, I, I can't really remember her name, but I do remember that she was unironically built like the mom. Hey, hold on, what he just said? I, I can't really remember her name, but I do remember that she was unironically built. <laughs> oh, what's up, yo yo? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We did have a few conversations back a while ago. You know what I'm saying? He did comment on one of my videos. Now he's saying my name. Listen, I'm just. It did just a little reaction channel, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the mom from Dexter's Laboratory. So I'll name her Mrs. D. I tell Mrs. D that I need to help on my calculus homework. And bro, we sat there for 25 minutes doing every single problem. She showed work and everything, and I didn't know not one thing that she was doing. But <laughs> I had it. I had a completed cheat sheet. I go home. I go to sleep. Wake up the next day and. I genuinely feel I have to take this test. I for real have the answers, yo. So I sit at my desk with the utmost confidence. The packet gets handed to me. I open the test, pick up my pencil, and put that hole right back down. Bruh. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Awesome I take safe. the test, finish it, turn it in, and walk out of the classroom. And okay. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I passed. Yo. I go to the next class. Hey, that's that, that's, a, that's a good feeling. Look out of the window. I, I see the clouds. <sighs> Let out a sigh of relief and just relax. I was living in constant stress for like three days straight. I feel, it, it feels like this huge weight was just lifted off of my shoulder. Hi, is Johannes in this classroom? <laughs> what? Oh, Mrs. B would like to speak with you. Ooh. This <laughs> fills my body. I get up and flashes of every incriminating act that i've done in the past three days just run through my head i just know i was caught she probably gonna say good job she probably gonna say good job slowly i look at the door down the hall and it just feels ominous i feel as if with every step i make towards the door i get weaker and weaker it was almost as if i was on death row walking towards the room Bruh. and i would breathe my last breath in i walk towards the doorknob twist that strong one. enough to twist it open i know I messed up. I open the door and I not only see Mrs. B, but I see the janitor she standing there too. Mrs. B looks at me. No. Ah, there you are, Yo-Yo. She grabs my test, looks at me, and I know she that she knows. She then says, sit down. We need to talk. Say you swear to God. <laughs> but, I was, but I need to start playing, boy. Yo-Yo, but stop playing, boy. You can't be doing that, boy. Imagine if I ended the video there, but no, again, no, 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 I sit down, I look at the janitor, uh -huh. I look at Mrs. B, and then 
Anyways, you have a good one, B. <laughs> you too. I, I will see you at the book club. Yes, Girl, you know it. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, thank God they were just talking. Yo, yeah. yo I wanted to okay. call you in and say congratulations. You yeah. The test. I know hey, I told you, bud. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought too, bro. Worried, she hands me the test, shakes my hand, and I go to head out. But right as I leave, yo, yo, one more thing. She looks at me and winks. Make sure you thank Mrs. D as well. Man, shout out to Mrs. B. I'm sure she found out either by the janitor or the fact that I literally wrote random man. W teacher and W janitor. Because I'm telling you. My teacher would have snitched, bro. No, nah, my janitor would have snitched, but my teacher would. My math teacher, he was, he was, he was a different breed. He was. I'm not gonna say nothing. Y'all, people who go to my school probably watch these. I don't wanna, wanna fit too much out there, but that nigga was not letting me pass anything. Listen, I try to cheat on my F cap. Answers on the test that I'm sure she looked at just for them to magically be correct the next day. But maybe Mrs. B knew math just didn't click in my head and she saw yeah. the effort that I was putting into passing the test and decided to grade me on my effort as opposed to my actual math score. Or she just didn't feel like dealing with my incompetent ass three days before the school year ended. Either way, if it wasn't for her, I probably would not be here today. And yeah, that's the story. That is how I graduated High school. Yo, let's go. Yo, yo, yo. I said what I'm making, that do not believe me. My last movie, you hear for the screen. And, uh, said it. I said it. Spend more on the woman than they got in the debit. If you see That's probably copyrighted. <laughs> I don't care, man. Bruh, I just want to say a few. What I want to say, bruh. Oh, yeah. I want to say that, like, in, like, in high school, bruh. When, like, that time period of, you know, when it's time to graduate. When it's time to graduate and you just know you have some... For example, like I was in a uh, intense reading class, and bruh, it was like my like a hope of passing was very very slim, bruh. Like I was just like, bruh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and magically I passed, bruh. I don't I don't know, but yeah, bruh. When y'all in school, bruh, just fo focus on what you gotta focus on, bruh. Friends. All, all them randoms, bro, dude, they are not going to be here. I promise you, bro. Unless, you, unless you're one of those party weird people, they're not going to be here, bro. Stay focused. Get on your purpose. Get your ground. Get to the money, bro. That's all you need to worry about. Get in school. Get up. Do your homework. Do what you're supposed to do, bro. That's it, bro. Pay attention. Have, have a little fun, too. You know what I'm saying? Have a little fun. You feel me? But get your work done. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. And, oh. Ah. The androids are attacking but yeah, it should be ironic, and I'm out. Once again.